So you want to make your own trigger bot for any game? Then this video is for you. You will learn how, in just a couple of lines of code, we can force our player to shoot whenever there is an enemy in our crosshair. Oh my God. Let's jump right into it. So I have Counter Strike Source open in Dash in Secure mode to not get banned. Now usually, when you aim towards an enemy or a teammate in FPS games, the crosshair will change color. In our case, it changes the text to whatever the entity's name is. Bruh. We can use this for our trigger bot. We will open Shit Onion, remember I am using Dash in Secure mode, and we will search for zero when we aim towards nothing. What we hope is, is that whenever we aim towards an entity, it will change the value since our crosser changed or the text came up. So we will scan for an increased value, so from zero to something positive. Then we'll go back into the game, move our crosser away from the entity and search for zero again. We repeat these steps until we have a low amount of addresses in the results tab. Once you only have a couple of addresses or a low amount that you're willing to work with, you can take a closer look. So you want to look for an address that displays a positive value when aiming at an enemy, but it's even better if you can find an address that displays a value that is positive that is also different between entities. This means that we can differentiate between enemies and teammates or other objects. We will perform a pointer scan. We'll choose a low amount of offsets, four of them. And once we're done, we can reset the game to see that our crosser ID works in a new session. So we reattach the onion and look at our pointer scan. So it displayed some weird values. We can just click on the offset column to get those values back or get the pointers. But we can see that these pointers seem to display a value when aiming at entities. Perfect. So we have a pointer for our crosser ID. We can now code our trigger bot. So we will pick one of these pointers and write them down in our sticky notes. We will write the base, module and so on, and our offsets. We do this so we can just easily copy and paste them in our code later. Let's jump right into our Python script. So we will create a new file, triggerbot.python. And the first thing we will add is or are some imports, pymem, keyboard, and pyauto GUI. Now, we will need a pip install for these, so just copy paste this, and you're good to go. We can then create our pymem instance with the process name. So, we just go into Sheet Onion and copy whatever it says at the top. Now, because we had a pointer, with the base client.dll, we will need to extract the module base using pymem as well. So we will use pymem.process module from name and just put client.dll there. Easy. Let's just copy and paste our pointer into the script with a comment or a hashtag, and we can define our pointer base very easily. Just take our new client base variable and add the first address after that. Perfect. We can now create or we can now begin the trigger bot loop. So the trigger bot loop will always run. So while true, to make things easy, we will just wrap things in a try catch statement. Because our pointer had three offsets, we will need to begin from the pointer base, read first offset, second offset, and for the final offset, we will use a read int instead of a read to long long. This is because our crosser ID is an integer, as far as I know. Might be different in your game. Whatever. We can print the crosser ID in the console, and at the end, because we had our try statement, we will need to catch an exception. And if that's the case, we just print it out. We can now run our script and check if it shows the same as Shidanian. Should show the crosser ID. And it does. Six, two, three, 
and so on. Perfect. Let's make it shoot now whenever it isn't zero. So if keyboard is pressed and I'll use caps lock, you can use whatever hotkey you want. I don't care. And our ID isn't zero. Uh, just remember that this is a typo. I'll fix it later. We will perform a pi auto GUI dot click. So we will click the mouse if our entity is in the crosshair. And then we just run the script again. Now, if we move our crosshair over the entity and hold our hotkey, caps lock, he will shoot. Amazing. Let's try it with some more entities. So that's pretty good, but there is a major issue with this. If a teammate moves in front of our crosshair, or another entity like a barrel, we will still shoot. This means a lot of teammates will die if we use this trigger book as it is now. Let's fix that by checking with our entity list if the entity in our crosshair is a teammate or an enemy. We will copy paste our local player and entity list from the aimbot tutorial. You can watch that here. And we will and we will read the local player. We will get our team. It is the offset D8. I got this from Shidanyan. I just compared two entities, me and an enemy. We can see that at D8, we have different values. We will add an if statement. If our crosshair ID is not zero, meaning we aim at an entity, we will read the entity pointer using the entity base plus the ID minus one, it should be crosshair ID and not ID, and then multiply it by 20 in hex. We subtract one because we, or the ID is not based on an index like our entity list. We start from zero there, not an ID, and then we get the entity team. Now, because we have the entity team and our local player team, we can just check that they are not on our team and also that the entity team isn't zero. Let's run the script again and check with our teammates holding the trigger bot key. Amazing. No friendly fire. Your very own team based trigger bot. Now, it's not perfect. You will always miss shots because we're reacting to a situation we're clicking if our variables align so you can always make it better you can add a delay before you shoot and so on and many other things i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial write a comment down below i'll see you guys later